Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we are back with our Voyo Mini PC that's running with the new Apollo Lake architecture because a bunch of you wrote in uh, asking how it might work as a Plex server. I know a lot of folks have been trying to find a uh, mini PC that will do all of their media serving as well as all the transcoding that Plex does effectively. And the question is whether or not this little one can do it. So what I'm doing right now is running uh, the Force Awakens here off of a Blu-ray MKV. It's on this uh, little SSD here and uh, the uh, mini PC here is serving the movie. Now what I'm not doing right now is any kind of transcoding. So this is coming over as its original file size. And as you can see here, uh, we get a couple of hits here and there on the CPU from the uh, media server, but uh, the overall usage here isn't significant because we're not doing any kind of transcoding. So if you have video that uh, you don't need to convert to something else, this is going to be a fine solution. But uh, if we want to start maybe doing some mobile uh, media watching, that might become an issue. So if I go over here to the movie and uh, do a uh, example of something that might happen when we're away from our home. So let me go over to the uh, quality here and maybe do a 720p uh, transcode here. Um, that will uh, significantly change our performance. So I'm going to close this out and let this now uh, re-spin uh, up here. And now you'll see if we go back to my uh, shot here of the computer that we're about 100% CPU usage right now. Uh, the movie is playing back, but it's eventually going to get uh, bogged down because the little CPU in here is giving it all it's got and uh, we're really going to start hitting the limits of what we have here. So it's possible maybe that you could get uh, the movie to play back here, but you will get a lot of fits and starts with it and uh, not something that I think I'm going to recommend here as a Plex server if you need to do any kind of transcoding. Uh, there are some things you can do with Plex though uh, you could set this up to uh, transcode ahead of time so you keep multiple copies of the movie in different file formats. Plex supports that. Uh, that might be a way to get around this limitation if you really want to get something like this to work as a media server. But uh, by and large, I do not recommend this as a Plex server that you intend to do a lot of transcoding with. But if you are just pushing over uh, files in their original format, I think it could probably support uh, four or five users or more uh, without any issues there. If you want to learn more about Plex, see some uh, links down in the video description. We also have a link to Plex so you can uh, check it out for yourself. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.